Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here at S3. And as we gear up for an exhilarating Netball World Cup, we look forward to it being hosted in a venue that perfectly mirrors the prestige of the event. Every single match of this 10-day spectacle will take place at the Cape Town International Convention Centre, a first for Africa in the history of the Netball World Cup. This world-class establishment is no novice when it comes to staging grand events, yet this may arguably be the most momentous since its inauguration back in 2003. And joining us today, just to make sure that the light is shed upon the preparations and this monumental tournament and what attendees can anticipate and expect. And of course, the way these individuals have orchestrated and have planned, we have the Chief Operations Officer and Resident Extraordinaire, a face that is welcoming and fantastic, Tracy Mkize, an honor and a pleasure to have you in the Feel Good Breakfast Show. Hi. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Is that too much energy for you? In the world? Does it matter, Tracy? Because I'm excited about the netball. No, I'm up. excited too. <laughs> so the CTICC, um, I may have been there once or twice. It's a phenomenal venue. Yes. It really is. But now you are hosting a global showpiece like the Netball World Cup. Yes. I know you could sit here for hours telling me about the preparations, but I mean, what really just goes into thinking about the CTICC as a venue and then hosting all of those Netball World Cup fixtures in the same venue? That must be quite a logistical nightmare for some, but it seems like for the CTICC, a walk in the park. Um, it seems like a walk in a park, but there's a lot of work that goes goes in the background okay. um, in terms of preparing for this. Um, and, and I think one thing that is so key for us is yes. having the stuff that we've got. Um, it starts there. Yeah. Um, we've got well-trained, skilled, uh, dedicated people that are working for the CTICC to make the magic in the front that people see. Um, I think the biggest thing um, in terms of the venue is to ensure yeah. that your systems are operational. You know what I like about the CTICC? The flexibility, the versatility, the diversity, the creativity, the innovation. I can say many more words about the CTICC. 400 events this year. Yes. Everyone with its own unique requirements. Of course. Now Netball World Cup comes in. The turnaround to prepare for this thing must be crazy. So. Just a little anecdote, I mean, how long does it take to prepare the CTICC for a showpiece like this? Um, the build-up, I mean, the Netball World Cups is starting on the 28th of, of, um, of this month. Yes. However, the build-up started on the 14th of this month in terms of building the spaces to yeah. be ready for the World Cup. And then for us, as the CTICC, as the venue, uh, we have plans in terms of our preventative yeah. maintenance, our proactive maintenance, just to ensure that the venue stays ready and we just agile all the time. And I can tell. And, and the thing is, you do it so effortlessly. That's why I could say it seems like it's effortless, but there are so many people behind the scenes working hard. And I must just commend your staff for putting together excellent events every time one of those events arrives at the CTICC. But now let's look at the, the numbers coming in. Just another little anecdote from you with regard to the statistics. How many people are you expecting to enjoy the Netball World Cup and uh, you know, sort of walk through your doors? Just to paint a little picture Please. is um, the courts that have been built, one in CTICC, one in 11,000 square meter space has uh, 5,200 seats, and then we've got another court in our newer building, CTICC2, with 1,000 yes. seat, seats. So in the first three days when you have your round-robin games, yeah. that's, um, you, you're looking at two games per day, so one in the morning uh, and one in the afternoon with this, with this uh, 6,200 seaters. So by the end of the tournament, we're expecting to have people that have, would have walked through our yeah. building 30,000 or just over 30,000 at the time for, for, the, for the duration of the tournament. But you are not only representing, let's just say, the CTICC. You are rep representing the, the city, the host city. And I mean, that must be such an honor for you guys. And I can tell you don't take it lightly. So for anybody who will be coming through those doors, uh, tell me about the expectation. I mean, what do you want them to experience at the CTICC for the Netball World Cup? One, one thing, um, the CTICC was created for the city to ensure that we are a, an, an economic stimulator for yes. the city. Um, people that would walk in into our building, we keep it pristine. We make sure that 
everything and anything that has, has a touch point for people or for customers, for guests, is a, a, up to, up to a, a five-star standard. Yes. We are a five-star rated tourism grading um, facility. So everything that you touch is five-star. Five-star level. And to think I shook your hand earlier, <laughs> five-star Tracy McKenzie. <laughs> but thank you, Tracy, for joining us. And, and thank you for all the updates and all the best for the Netball World Cup. I know that uh, you're going to do South Africa proud in hosting thank this. You. So thank you so much. And thank you for having us. Anytime, thank eh? Thank you. You're welcome. In fact, host an espresso. In Thank CTICC, we will be fantastic. Well then, to Tracy and Kize, and of course, do remember Netball World Cup coming up very, very soon. Grab your tickets and support what is going to be a global showpiece not to be missed.